hello youtubers <laughs> oh my god i just sounded so weird i think anyways uh it's aria here welcome back to my channel so i decided to come take a look at the park i don't know if you guys can see the park over there can you guys see the park oh yeah yeah, yeah. um that's what it kind of looks like um i'm kind of like at the entrance of the park but i kind of wanted to get away from home I haven't been out in such a long time um yeah like a long time because of my knee injury I haven't really driven anywhere because you know it hurts so I want to go get some food um but anyways you guys I wanted to just touch on something uh, you know I made another video talking about like my fear of needles and Wednesday how I'm going to have peripheral nerve block injections and I kind of forgot that I was gonna have those uh, so anyways you guys I'm like terrified for um for Wednesday and I have what's today Saturday one two three okay I have like five days well like four days to get my stuff together develop some healthy coping skills that will help me when I get in there so this has been kind of like a problem because the thing is it's more than just the fear of needles like for me it's the fact that it's like trauma um you know i i, I i've been anxious for a long time like since i was a teenager and have struggled with like depression and all this stuff and and you know, as I've experienced life and things happen, um, you know, things get worse and then, you know, you learn how to cope and then it gets better. But I just feel like all of like the past things and everything is just adding to the anxiety. And um, I, I just feel like, um, well, I was, I, I was in therapy last year um for a couple of months I don't remember how long and my uh therapist at the time diagnosed me with adjustment I think it's called adjustment disorder and um and she was using post-traumatic stress techniques on me like therapy on me um to help me you know cope with everything but <laughs> okay but I no longer see her um, because I felt really good, but that was before I knew that, you know, that I was going to have peripheral nerve blocks. So basically, I just have, for me, my injury is traumatic. So now, I know being injured isn't on the same level as, like, abuse and all of this and, you know, other kinds of trauma, but for me it was and it is and every time that I think about a needle or anything just anything okay it's not really anything but like hurting myself with a knife again or like a needle it makes me uh terrified and I get angry and I just freak out and you know I just feel like I have that trauma that I haven't really been able to get past and I'm well aware that I have this trauma and I don't think anything is going to help me cope with this trauma unless it's time, you know, giving it time because I mean ever since my injury everything's been painful, you know, every everything has hurt my arm so it, I've not let anyone come close to my arm um you know whenever I go to the doctors if they want to do a BP on my hand I'm just like no don't do it there I I refuse to get like vaccines and like blood test um because I, I don't want people poking around on that arm and you know I before I was diagnosed with phlebitis from the IV, it was a real possibility that, that I would have to go to the urgent care uh, to get treatment. And then the only thing I thought about was like, oh my God, I don't want to go. They're going to poke me. They're going to want to do labs. I can't do, I can't, I can't deal with that. Okay. So basically I'm just saying that. 
for me, it's like traumatic. Anything coming close to my arm, anything, you know, it's just traumatic. And I, I can't help how I feel. And I don't know how I'm going to deal with that when I go in on Wednesday. I have to get some stuff together. I have to get myself grounded. But honestly, I feel like I'm going to be in tears. And I don't want to be in tears because my goal is to get to like get better you know and this is the treatment to getting better and if i show how terrified i am of having like a needle um on my arm and to get injected in my arm my doctor could very well say okay you know stem cell therapy isn't for you um you know peripheral nerve blocks aren't for you like he might just say no and so i have to weigh the options of basically having my anxiety get in the way of getting denied treatment or or trying to keep myself together and not show anything and you know getting the treatment you know it, it just sucks because i don't have time you guys i i i'm i'm off work now but i plan on going back to work well i guess it's the new year uh this winter you know i'm planning on trying to look for a job and and so i'm trying to get all my medical stuff situated right now before i go back to work because then it's going to be harder and i'm go going to be more stressed out and i don't i don't handle stress very well especially not with this so i'm just i don't know i feel like i don't have many options i feel terrified i know when i first talked to the specialist i know i told him i know i told him you know i'm terrified of having like a needle go into my arm but I I knew how terrified I was having it go into my hand but not not exactly my arm so now I'm freaking freaking out and just thinking about it is making me feel stressed and and like I was getting like a lot of like tremors and shakiness and it's just like not good last night when I was thinking about it like just the thought of it and then I was like trying to desensitize myself too uh, by watching like videos of like needle phobias and like how to get over it and then just listening to all of that just made me it wasn't helping at all because I have I have this extreme fear and I and it's just the fact that oh well it's going to hurt. well I'll be asleep but even the IV, you know, the IV was a bad experience and it just added to it, I think. Um, I'm terrified of like the pain. It's stressful. It's just like the stress. And then all that I think about when I think about getting my arm injected into is how I felt that day that I was in the break room and that knife stabbed me that's how that's that's where my mind goes to is it's that day and how you know how <laughs> that day just i don't want to say ruined my life because that's a little much but well i mean just like how that day changed everything and now it's like constantly having to worry about if I injure myself again, is it going to spread? Is it going to get worse? And ever since that day, I've, you know, I've been trying to stop myself from getting hurt at all. And right now I have a knee injury, you guys. You guys should see me. I'm like, I'm like wearing these things. I don't even know those things. And yeah, it hurts. But you guys, it's just like, it's not just like a little fear. It's just like, it's like, I don't want to say flashbacks because I just feel like I don't... I don't know I don't want to put labels it just reminds me back of that day and I already have a problem with you know like being strapped down because you know that's what they do so that you don't move like I'm just the kind of person that needs to be in control and 
and just like it's just like the anticipation of this is going to happen and you have no choice because you know I don't know none of this was my choice you know my injury none of it I had no say in it it's just it happened and now I've had to just deal with it and anyways that's that's where my mind goes to when I think of the needle in my arm it's more than just a needle in my arm it means everything it means like because of a freaking knife I've had to change so many things and struggle with everything you know like anxiety depression um a feeling like I'm hopeless nothing's going to change nothing's going to get better because of a knife because of an injury and this is kind of like the same thing like I've spent the last two years trying to protect myself as much as I could and and then now it's like having to let someone just poke you Ugh, I don't know that's what it means to me and now I'm yelling <sighs> Anyways, that's just what it means to me, you guys. It's more than just a needle. It's more than just a procedure. My mind can't stop itself from going to that day where everything changed. And not to think about all the, you know, all the criticisms that I got at work. All of, like, just being told different things by my supervisor and and like being looked at a different way because I wasn't able to you know be normal and then like all the all that the doctors put me through saying that I was exaggerating my symptoms it just brings back all of this all of this and I don't have a better way to explain it other than it being trauma you know I just feel like I it's just I don't know I, I feel I feel traumatized you guys and I don't know how I'm going to possibly do it on Wednesday and if my doctor sees me freak out, he, he might say, okay, we can't do this. You know, you need to go to therapy first and then we can finish it, you guys. And I don't have time to go to therapy. I, I you know, we're in, well, I just, I don't feel good talking to anyone about my fears because I understand myself perfectly I understand and I just don't think anything can change until I'm healed and and so I'm going to probably have to try to contain it because I can't risk my doctor saying okay no you can't have stem cell therapy because you're a mess you're an emotional mess and and then I also think about pe letting people down you know like my sister's been taking me to my appointments and yeah, like my doctor who referred me to the specialist, like, it's what I wanted. It's what I wanted for so long. It's, you know, stem cell is probably like the best chance that I have at having some kind of cure for this. And everything's writing on it, you know, like if I settle my case, if the doctor orders stem cell, then I can at least have that in the future. And... I don't want this fear of needles or anything to get in the way of having that, you know? <sighs> Fudge. So anyways, I just have to tell myself like 100 times everything, you know? Anyways, this video is kind of getting long and YouTube only lets you upload 15 minutes worth of video. So um, I'm going to stop it here, you guys. But oh, yeah, I just, I just, I just had a vent, you guys. Oh. Hopefully the next video I'll be better. Bye guys.